Google is storming ahead with development of the next version of Android, and we now have the second Android 12 developer preview to get stuck into. So let's jump in and find out what's new. Take a sec to subscribe for more Android 12 goodness in future, and we'll get started. As Google continues to overhaul Android's visuals, we're seeing yet more aesthetic changes in the latest Android 12 preview. The outline for the pattern lock on the lock screen has been changed up and is now thicker with the blue accent color, which is in line with the slightly chunkier visual style we've seen in leaked Android 12 concept images. One visual change we're not all that crazy about though is that dark mode seems to be getting lighter with every update, and particularly in areas like the settings app, what was once a perfect AMOLED black is now a fairly light shade of gray. Battery concerns aside, this just seems like a step backwards aesthetically. Meanwhile, back on the home screen, the widgets list has been revamped as well, now with a much cleaner vertically scrolling list view. You can only view the widgets from one app at a time with this new list view, but I do think this helps to keep the selector a bit less cluttered. Picture in picture mode is one of my favorite additions in recent versions of Android. With the second Android 12 developer preview, picture in picture windows are much more flexible. The transition from a video app like YouTube to picture-in-picture -picture mode is a bit smoother now, and picture-in-picture -picture windows can be expanded to fill the entire width of the screen, either by dragging a corner of the window or pinching into zoom. You can also now pin a picture-in-picture -picture window to the edge of the screen by dragging it all the way to the left or the right of the display. This keeps the active video from blocking your screen without stopping playback. It's a bit odd to see this slim portion of a video playing on screen, but it makes it much quicker to jump back into the video compared to the traditional picture-in-picture -picture view, where you'd have to find the app again in your home screen or the recent apps menu. Let's face it, we're long past the point where phone screens had sharp pointed edges, and beginning with Android 12 Developer Preview 2, developers can set their apps to check whether your device has rounded corners on the display and optimize the UI accordingly, They'll even be able to see which corners are rounded and whether a particular corner has a different radius. While this under the hood change might not sound like much at first, if you've ever experienced bits of the UI being cut off by rounded corners, you'll agree this step will help tidy things up in the future. This is arguably the biggest new feature addition in this second developer preview, and you can now enable Google's one-handed mode from within the gesture settings menu. It's easily activated by swiping down near the bottom of the screen, and works similarly to Apple's reachability function on iOS, bringing the entire UI down to the lower half of the display. It works great, and you can set it to automatically time out after 4, 8, or 12 seconds of inactivity, or never if you prefer. You can also exit manually by tapping anywhere on the upper portion of the display. And there's a slick, bouncy animation that plays whenever you enter or exit one-handed mode, and the whole thing works pretty well considering this is a developer preview. And finally, there are one or two new hidden features that have been unearthed by the guys at XDA developers and others in the Android community. Android 12's hidden gaming toolbar now has a dashboard area for streaming to various places. There are signs of more visual changes coming to pin entry on the lock screen with these large circular buttons. And XDA's Zachary Wonder was able to get the previously leaked People Space widget working in a more complete fashion, as opposed to the barebones version seen in the previous developer preview. That's it for this particular preview build, we've got a couple more builds to go before the first Android 12 public beta, so stay tuned and subscribe for more on the next release in the coming months. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.